Welcome back to another video everyone, my name is Fabio, and today we're going to look at something really important in Toon Boom Harmony, the library. So it looks kind of intimidating, I mean I was really intimidated by it when I first saw it, but it's actually not and it makes your life so much easier if you know how to use it. So this is a great tool if you want to like, reuse animation, reuse assets. So let's take a look at it now and you'll be able to integrate it into your workflow in no time. You want to think of your library as a place that you can store all of your files. So all of your character rigs, your backgrounds, any other assets you have in your scene, you can store them in your library to use for later. So all your library is, is a place on your computer where you're storing this information. But as you can see here, I store all my information on my desktop. Now, how do we open our library? I already have mine open, but if you don't see this, let's go up to Window and choose Library. See how it pops up? And then you can drag it anywhere you want and reorder it. We're ready to start storing our files, but how do we do that? Like I said before, I have my desktop file here, but how did it get there? Well, go up to this little folder, Open Library. So you're basically opening a new storage like container and as you can see it opens up my computer files so I would recommend dumping all your files in your desktop so choose desktop click it and press select folder right it says the folder is already open as desktop because I already have it here but what would happen let me show you let's say we chose documents instead it would show up right here and as you can see I have a whole new empty container to store my files. If you want to get rid of a library just close it and it, it disappears. Let's look at our desktop now. I want to access some of these files. I want to use them but there's something weird. There is a see this little lock? I can't access my files if it's locked so what you got to do is right click give me the right to modify. Now I can go in and drag my files onto my scene. So we have this uh, one eye monster rig that we that I like to work with. I'll click drag right onto my stage. And look what happens. The whole rig is imported into my scene. As you can see, it's in the timeline and in my node view. So this rig has some animation already saved in the rig. I have a walk cycle that I made, front walk cycle. I wanna save this animation and I wanna reuse it. How do I do that? So let's go into our node view and select everything. So I like to select in the node view, it's a lot easier. Just make sure in your timeline, it's not, it's, um, it's showing all of the frames that you want to save, right? So I want to save everything. So I need it to be here, right? If the timeline only showed this, I could only save these four frames. Okay, so just make sure that it's sh the frames that you want to save are showing in the timeline. So let's copy, control C, paste, in my library, just hover over here, paste. We'll name it Reuse Animation. Okay, and as you can see, it shows up right in my library. So let's say I get rid of this guy, but I like, did I lose all my animation? Well, no, I didn't, because I can drag my reused animation into the stage, and there you go everything is still there. This is so useful and can save so much time. So instead of doing like 10 walk cycles over and over again, I can just do one and reuse the same animation. And that's it guys. That's all we pretty much need to know about importing things from our library to our stage. All you need to do, copy and paste from the node view, Make sure all your frames are showing and paste it in your library. That's it. 
So thanks for watching this quick tip. I hope this helps kind of shed some light on the library because it's really not that big of a deal, even though it looks like it. So get out there, experiment, have some fun reusing your animation, and I'll see everyone in the next video.